Hello my alien students, welcome back. So today what I'm gonna what we're going to learn? We're gonna learn something called as scale. Okay. For some reason I do not have my pen, so we'll be right using my mouse. Anyway, the concept of scale. Okay. What does we have three times? What does it mean? One is to one. What does it mean? Two is to one. You can use the same concept. And what does it mean? One is to two. Sometimes you see your drawing. One is to one. What is two is to one? What is one is to two? Or sometimes you would see, let's say, fifty is to one. Okay. Or you say this is more common. One is to one thousand. Or one is to one hundred. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does this mean? Scale. So today you're going to become an alien in scale. Okay. You'll understand the concept of this. You do some examples. And then you say, John, you know, this is a piece of cake. Okay, so let's come back to the story. Okay, one is to one. What does it mean? Let's talk about what the first concept called one is to one. One is to one. This one. One is to one. What does it mean? One is to one. Okay, there is something you need to understand. What does it mean? This signifies what? This signifies what? Okay, just a second. Okay, so what does oh, we're back? Yeah, so what does this signify? What does that signify? You understand that then this chocolate this becomes chocolate. The first number this is called the first number. Okay, this guy is called the first number. This guy is called the second number. Okay, the first number is the number what you print after printing. Example, we have a paper. This is a paper. Should have been. I can't use filler now, but. This is on paper. My problem, I have not brought my pen. So, anyway, we don't make excuses. Okay, this is your paper. Let's say A4, whatever, A3, whatever. Landscape. Okay, because it's this way. Hmm? Okay. So, after I print, this is after printing using your scale. Which scale? After printing. After printing. Okay. You have one scale. A normal ruler. You know, like say zero, one unit, one millimeter. We talk about. Let's talk about. I'm just trying enlarged uh, drawing. Two, three. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Hmm. This is your ruler scale, whatever you call. It. After printing. Okay. Let's say I printed this. This will just draw another line. Let's draw another color. So you know you don't get confused. This is a line. Hmm. This is one line, which is let's say A B. From here to here is A B. Okay. After I print, I took this scale and I kept it on that scale here. So the scale uh, ruler scale, whatever you call it, I kept it on this. So it's something looking like this. Okay, that scale, you know, the scale which is there. Okay. So one is there. 2 is there, 3 is there, 4 is there, 5 is there. Okay, when he drew this, he wrote this is 5 units. When I took my scale, sorry, my scale is not straight. Let's say this is 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, this is 5. So, this is 0. So, that means what? After I print, okay, and actually, this is the second number is actual. Actual means what? Actual. What does it really need? Actual. Just remember this. Actual. Actual dimensions. Okay. The first one. I have two, three examples to become clear. This is after printing dimension using scale. Okay. In AutoCAD, you would be using the dimension DIM command. After printing. Sorry, my handwriting is just improving. But you know, after printing using and I'm not using my mouse also, so it's something uh, special. Okay, using uh, the ruler or scale, or in AutoCAD, you'll be using the dimension command, DIM, not the other command, DIM, linear dimension. Okay, I hope this much is clear. This is R. After printing, using scale, or okay. If you use the scale and actual dimension, actual dimension of the object, Okay. 
okay now actual dimension of the boy mentioned five okay we use the scale it became five so what you can say it is one is to one why one minute okay just a second I have the music somebody is calling one minute mm, okay sorry welcome back mm. what were we what is the meaning of one is to one mm. after printing I use the scale or dimension command and I saw it is five units okay and what is mentioned here five units that means the object is actually we want it to be so it is what we can say one is to one I divided it become one is to one is this clear one is to one so this drawing is one is to one I take an example in AutoCAD so you know this concept is very very important let's say I drew a line we are in the wrong units one minute We don't want so much precision. This headline. We said five. So when I select the object, if they mention, let's keep one uh, dimension. So the person who has given you this drawing, he's told this is five inch. I don't know why he put. Okay, just imagine this is. Five unit. Forget the um, the symbol. Okay, so this is five units. If I use the command di this to this, I'm getting five. So five units is five, isn't it? You get the picture. If I use a scale, if I get five inches, say so five inches. I this don't want. Let's take a better drawing. One minute. Just a blank screen. the dimension scale this one they never use this this I'm just giving you what he mentioned five suppose the customer gave you this drawing and he mentioned five units that means what actually he need this object to be in five if I printed this not printed if I made this object I have to make it in a five units five units uh, measurement isn't it but make another example di okay See five. So this is one is to one drawn. This object is drawn one is to one. I hope this is clear. So the first number always signifies after printing using scale or using dimension command. Okay, but the second one number, the second number, actual dimension of the object. That means what he need this object to be in this much. He need it. Okay, you can use any word. And not this is not an English course. This is an AutoCAD course. Okay, or a scaling course class. Okay. I just show you another story. Okay, this is clear. Okay, now next case, this concept you understand, you can understand anything. Let's take another case. Case, this is case one. Okay, case two. Two is two one. That means what? This is two. Just a minute, change the color. Instead of one, it is two. That means what? After I print, okay, for example, this will be what? After I print, I'm getting, let's say, ten. Isn't it? That means what? Let me make another easy example. Same story. It is the same. After printing, you are getting the dimension. Let's say ten. But actually, it is five. So what? Divide this to two is to one. That means what? I am drawing this object larger than it is. Let me be a story. Okay. Re repeat what I am telling you. Sorry. See. We finish this, right? One is to one is clear. One is to one means one is to one. After printing using the scale or using the dimension, I got the same number which is mentioned here. In the second case, I'm talking about this case now. Okay, case one is clear, right? One is to one. Case two. That means after I print, I used my scale or ruler. I used the dimension. I got a number which is larger than what was there. For example, hmm? let me just drop this. Things will become clear. You don't have any confusion, let me know. Okay, many people get confusion with this, but it's a very, very easy concept. But you know, better to get it clear. Okay, 
okay let's say we have an object this object remains five units one minute I'm missing my pen anyway so this is how much he written when he drew from here to here he mentioned like this five units that means this point this, this point five units okay but when I measured it I use my scale my scale yellow color isn't it yeah I use my scale okay let's say my scale is longer scale isn't it sorry one two three blah 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 I got ten that means what 10 is to 5 okay okay so I hope this is clear now so 10 in the scale that means what the object is actually small but I have drawn it larger that means how 2 is to 1 okay I will take example okay for example okay for example Mm, you draw the example. Let's say it's a five units object. One minute. I'll show you what is the meaning of it. One minute. Okay. See, you saw me what I did. One, do it again slowly. This is a ten unit and zero. Okay. But when I do the measurement, I will overwrite it to make it five. You will see it is ten. But okay. But uh, taking this example, I will change it to 5 units. So when you see this drawing, you will see it is 5. But when you measure it using dimension command, 10 units. Okay? I hope this is clear. Let us take the case, next case. If that means, suppose you get, let's suppose, you get 100 is to 1. That means what? 100 is to 1 means what? What does it mean? 100 is to 1 or 2 is to 1? The object you have drawn is larger than what it is. 100 is to 1. Okay. Other case is 1 is to 2. Let's take 1 is to 2. Same example. 1 is to 2. One is to 2. That means what? Actually, the object is big but drawn small opposite same way after printing you use scale okay let's say this is same question so instead of 10 I will be getting 2.5 isn't it I'll show you what they mean I'll take this example I think one more example we'll take and it'll be clear let's say line so 2.5 tab 0 enter Sorry. I will overwrite it by two point five. So two point five which means means what? This object is drawn smaller. Okay, let me just show you again. Re redraw everything. So let's say okay take example we want to draw let's summarize it one is to one one is to one means excel actually draw a line line 10 units one is to one now let's say the object is five units okay so when I draw a dimension from here Five units. Hmm? This is one is to one. Okay. We said next case two is to one. Okay. Okay, case three. T 
see this is one is to one this is two is to one then why the object is drawn scalar then we put here five here also he will put five okay i hope you understood this concept five ten two point five okay i hope this is clear so when it was measured five 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 this is this five second number but when i printed this drawing i took a scale i got this measurement five is to five so it is one is to one when i got it i got ten means what two is to one I got 2.5 is equal to what 1 is to 2 same concept okay hope everybody enjoyed this class see you all in the next class take care bye